What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? So the reason why being silent makes you stand out from other men. Now, two quick disclaimers before I start. First of all, I'm not telling you to sit there and look like freaking Michael Myers or Jason, right? And be just like this complete mute shut-in. That's not what I'm saying when I say introverted and silent, right? I just mean you're kind of more cool, calm, collected. Second of all, not every chick is going to like that, and that's fine. Don't worry about them. Some chicks like guys that are a little more loud or a little more outspoken. They Some chicks like guys that are straight-up clowns, right, that are just performing circuit, circus acts for their entertainment so she can be entertained. You feel me? So just those two disclaimers out there. So anyway, with that being said, this is Terry Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. So the reason why being silent makes you stand out from other men is simply because if you look at the majority of other men, they are kind of what I alluded to earlier. <clears throat> A lot of men, when they get around females, right, they put on this circus act. They put on this I'm trying to impress you. I'm trying to prove myself. Act. I see it every single day. I see it all the time. I saw it at work. It was, you know what I'm saying? That shit ran rampant at work. And admittedly, guys, look, I never judge people. I used to do the same shit too. And you feel me? It did work a couple of times. Am I going to say it didn't? No, I'm not going to say it didn't. Okay. But on the flip side, though, you want to ask, ask yourself, what kind of chick do you want to attract? right? What kind of chick do you want to attract? But that's why in general, you want, you, you you know, that's why it makes you stand out because you see how every other guy is acting and they're trying to perform these acts, trying to be this very, uh, jester like type of person to attract a female or get their attention. So a lot of red pill channels say, Females have behavior seeking, attention seeking behavior. A lot of guys do too. A lot of guys do too, right? And I talked about this many a times. It ain't just females that be seeking attention. A lot of guys do too. So with you being silent, you being kind of more cool, calm, collected, a lot of guys call it stoic, right? You are going to, that is going to be attractive to a lot of women because you're just different. Right. And then like I had put it in, in a previous in the previous video about how introverted men can increase their attraction. You want to be mindful that even though you are silent, you still want to keep good eye contact, good body language. And you're going to have to talk. Right. Just because you're more silent, you are going to have to talk. You're Like I said, you're not going to be this complete mute shut in. OK. But the difference is you talk you're, you have fewer words, right? You're not just spewing out nonsense day in and day out. See, the guy that's a little more introverted, he says much less, but his words weigh way more than a guy that's just talking, you know, the guy that's just always talking, running his mouth, flapping his gums, bumping his gums, talking out the side of his neck. That guy is probably always complaining about some shit, or he's being super loud, trying to be this funny Kevin Hart, you know, trying to be a Kevin Hart funny guy, as opposed to you, you would rather let people come and talk to you, right? You still keep it friendly. You still keep it. You still have a welcoming demeanor about you, meaning you keep that eye contact. You say hi to people and that's really all you need, right? That's really all you need. And you will see that people start coming up to you. You feel me? They'll start uh, c coming and talking to you and they'll open up to you way more. You feel me? You start noticing people will just, you know what I'm saying? Even if you are more quieter, when you do open up a conversation, people will feel more safer and more, uh, you know, especially the young lady, we're talking about attraction here. The young ladies, they'll feel more sa more safer talking to you. They'll feel more secure talking to you as opposed to the guy who's constantly running his mouth and acting like an ass sh showing his ass at, you know what I'm saying every single day that guy just running his mouth saying whatever God knows what and the thing about it is the more you run your mouth the more stupid shit you say you feel me so you're not you're not gonna have 
You're not going to have that, uh, that magnetism. You're not going to be taken seriously. And plus the guy that's, that's somewhat silent, the guy that's somewhat silent, like I said, he don't say too much. So when he does talk, people listen. And on the flip side with, with the whole attraction thing, there's a certain seduction about it, right? There's a certain seduction about a guy who's kind of more on the silent side. But then when he talks, he's a little more cool, calm, collected. He ain't talking all loud. That's seduction right there in a nutshell. You feel me? He's not being all loud. He's not putting on this circus act. He ha He's a little more calmer. He's talking in a more lower tone. And a chick just, she just feels drawn to him like, you know, and of course, even if you are more silent, you still have to have some type of conversation skills. I got to keep reiterating that for my guys who think they, they're just going to sit there and not say anything and people are just going to flock to them like like seagulls. You feel what I'm saying? No, that's <laughs> that's not how it works. You still need to have verbal skills. It's just the difference is you use your words much more wisely and you use them much less. And that is going to have an attraction in it all in its own because people and especially young ladies they'll even take you more seriously right they'll take you more seriously and for the chicks that do kind of play games i'm not saying that they're gonna completely uh stray away from you because you know folk females and, and people in general they're gonna play games in general right but they're less likely to come at you like that right they're less likely to come at you like that because they're like they see this guy is silent he probably ain't, ain't with all that that boo-boo shit, right? That foo-foo, hee-hee, ha-ha type of shit. Even though he is a cool guy, he's not with, with those games and all that good stuff, right? But at the same time, you're going to have this very calming, very cool type of vibe to you. And that's, in a nutshell, what's so seductive, that calming, that cool, you know, you're just very, you ain't tripping about nothing. You ain't trying to prove anything. You're not like that loud guy who's always super loud and comes off as he's trying to impress somebody. Because when you're loud subconsciously, when you're super loud, when you are, um, this is nothing to my extroverted people, right? I'm just talking about people that are kind of goofy, that are kind of super loud for no reason. Okay. I'm not talking about my extroverted people here, but the guys that, that are like goofy, subconsciously, it comes off as Hey guys, look at me. I'm trying to impress you, especially when dealing with the opposite gender. Females are going to take it as this guy is trying to impress me. He's putting on a, a show. He's trying to entertain me. Okay. So anyway, that's my video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought. Peace.